Welcome back into this new video to Express. Today, let's take a look into how to add multiple variant images to your Shopify products. If you have products with different colors, different sizes, uh, or styles, it's a feature and essential for providing a clear and engaging shopping experience for your customers, as we actually did with this media. So, why using multiple variants? Uh, having multiple images for each product variant allows your customers to uh, see exactly what they are actually getting. So whether it's a different color, a different size, or a style, this not improve only the shopping experience, but also lead to the higher conversion rate and fewer returns. So before we dive into this process, we wanted to focus into all the product images ready. So it's better to name your images clearly according to the variants that represent such as red shirt, front, or blue shirt, black, for example. So what I'm gonna be doing here is to make sure that I have the right of my product and I have the really great title, for example, oversized, the size, of course, the product, the color, and what side I'm looking, in this case, the front version. Now here, this one should be the name of my store, but you can just delete it if you wanted to. Once you have organized your images into folders, making it easier to upload them into correct variants. So let's say that I go back, of course, Let's look out for the dashboard. You have the link to down below in the description to get started with the Shopify, just in case you haven't claimed this yet. So if I focus into products, you can now see the product you wanted to edit. For example, here, I'm gonna look out for this one. So if you go and scrolling a little bit down here, we have now the variant section. So here in the variant section, if your product doesn't have the variant yet you wanted to add, let's go for add my variant. Now here into the variant, what you can do is to add options, for example, the color and the size. Now though, you can enter the variant options and then what we can do is to add images to each variant simply. So click into each variant within your product listing. For example, I have just added my very first one and I have added my image here. So I have the color and the size, the pricing, the unit cost and the inventory. So you see an option to upload an image specifically for that variant. You can upload the corresponding image from your computer. So after adding all the images, it's going to be a good idea to review how they looked from the product page. So once you have added your product, let's go back. Let's check out our product once again. And here into the upper side, we have the option that says view. So if I hit now into view, you should see that automatically we can see that we have now these filters of colors and automatically should be changed when you clicked in them. If they doesn't change, they of course needed to be redirected once again, but in this case, it actually works. So the same process with the sizes and the quantity and all of that. If you need more advanced functionality, such as displaying multiple images, for example, for the variant, you might want to use a Shopify application. So I'm gonna go back here into Shopify, into my dashboard of course, and let's look out for applications. There are several applications available, like the variant image that can help you to do this process. So just type the word variant image and look out for it into the Shopify App Store. So this one should be sending it directly into the App Store and search for the variant images. So you can install the application and follow some setup instructions to enhance your variant image capabilities. Once you have installed it, the application that you think it's going to be working for your variant uh, product, what you need to do, of course, is to focus and do exactly the same process into your application as we did directly with the actual order or in this case, the product. Now, another solution that I can give you to make this process much more faster is that you can start totally from scratch adding one product. And to do it so, you can look out for the option that says import and I can go for download the sample of the CSV file. So this CSV file can be opened, for example, into Google Sheets. So I'm gonna hit into Google Sheets. I go for sign M. Here's my document. I go for file. I look out for import. And I select the product template, and here it is. So scrolling a little bit down, I select it, and I double click on it. Once I hit now into import, I have the imported data. Now this one, this process is actually a little bit tricky and might be a little bit annoying, but I can tell you that it's gonna be the most easiest uh, way of how you can import products directly 
from uh, this file, the CSV file directly into Shopify. So what you need to do is to add all the information about your product. The handle, the title, the body, the vendor, the category, the type, the text, publisht, uh, collection type, and much more. As you can see here are my variants at SKU, the inventory, the price, and much more. And here we have the image sourced. So it's going to be really important to add your image source. What you can do is to go into Shopify, go uh, directly into your uh, section of the content. Here into content, focus into files. Here you can upload your file. And once you have uploaded a file, you can select this product or the image you wanted to use for a specific variant. And it's going to be generating you an actual link. So you can use this link to copying it so as you can see it says the name alt text and whatever so i copy the link of this image and i paste it right over here and then i have the image position the alt text and so much more stuff once you finish doing this process you can save the file go back into the shopify products and here you can look out for the option that says import add file and look out for your product template so automatically Shopify is going to be understanding all the elements that match the handles. So go for the option that says upload and preview. And after that, the process is going to be appearing automatically and you don't have to do this manually like one by one because all the products created is going to be appearing here from the section on the bundle from Google Sheets and added directly here into Shopify. So that's how you can add multiple variant images to your Shopify store. This simple enhancement can make a big difference in how customers interact with your products. If this tutorial was helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you want to see more great tools, how we can get started here using Shopify. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, you can all see you next time.